Julian Quinones, the 26-year-old Colombian-born attacker who's been lighting up Liga MX since he joined, well, for a while, but since he joined Atlas in 2021, has begun his naturalization process with an eye on a potential El Tri debut as soon as September of this year. Quinones has represented Colombia at the under-20 level, so that means he should have to file a one-time switch. Uh, he's been playing in Mexico since joining Tigres back in 2016. Quinones celebrating his citizenship on social media via Instagram. He, of course, played for El Tri manager Diego Coca at Atlas, where the pair won two Liga MX titles together. Herc, what do you think? Is Julian Quinones the difference maker that El Tri need? Yes, and he doesn't have to be the difference maker they need for him to be considered a Mexican player. Let's mm -hmm. get that straight right there. Uh, this man has, in 83 games with Atlas, 36 goals, 12 assists, back-to-back -back championships with a team that hadn't won a final in over 70 years. Back-to-back -back championships. He's 26 years old, Seb. Mm -hmm. He's also got intangibles that nobody in the Mexican player pool even comes close to. That's a reality. Henry Martin may have been the MVP last season in Liga MX. But the best player, the best talent in Liga Mekis, hands down, Julian Quinones. This is a player that you don't see every day. Those attributes, those intangibles, I mean, physically, technically, nose for goal, can play as a second forward, can play as the forward on the wing. It gives you a different element. And guess what? Diego Coca knows him very well. Won back-to-back -back championships with him at Atlas. I repeat, Mexican papers, Mexican citizenship, he's a Mexican player. Yep. He's been in Mexico since he was 18 years of age. Yep. His wife is Mexican, his children are Mexican. He yeah. is Mexican. Yeah, I think once you get your citizenship, that's that's it. You know, if we're gonna start ranking people on, on how Mexican you are, how American you are, you get into some pretty dangerous waters. But he has really, truly, Herc, only played professionally in Mexico. This is a guy who is made in Mexico. As you mentioned, arrives at Tigres as a teenager, ends up playing in the second division of Mexico. Love he's become yeah. who he is through Mexican soccer. So he's absolutely kind of a product of Liga MX specifically. I think this is great, man. You, you talk about the, the, the characteristics of this player. Lethal, dangerous in front of goal, what Mexico has lacked, and then that speed. I like how you worded it. He may not have been the most valuable player, but he's the most dangerous. He's the best player. He's the best talent. He's the guy, when you watch Liga Mekis, that jumps off the screen for me. He is that guy that if I was an opposite coach, I would be worried the most about Julian Quinones. He is the guy who's going to hurt you and hurt. What have we been saying about Mexico for the last year, year and a half, two years? They can dominate the ball all they want, but what they have not been able to do is hurt teams. This guy is danger. This guy is threat. Oh, September can't come soon enough. All we've heard, all we have heard recently, and especially when it came to the transfer of Kevin Alvarez from Pachuca to Club America, that was $11 million mm -hmm. reportedly, right? All we have heard is, if Kevin Alvarez was $11 million, <laughs> what is yeah. Julian Quinones going to yeah. be? That's, that, that was the immediate response. What uh -huh. will Julian Quinones demand in the transfer market yep. in Mexico, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be up there for sure. I, I would expect anywhere from 17 plus. Yeah, Club America looking at uh, Quinones as well. Real quick, could you see anything like this happening with the U.S. and Major League Soccer? I'm thinking of a guy. The first name that popped up was like a Hani Mukhtar. Played youth national team with Germany. In a couple of years, he will have been here five years. Do you think we'll see this in MLS? Because we've seen it quite a bit well, with the Mexican national honest? team and Liga Mekis in the past. Guys I, like Senia, et cetera. Well, I thought, yes, yeah, Senia, very good example. I thought we were already going to see it, see it excuse me, um, nah, with Tillman. Tati Castellanos. Oh. Okay. I, I really sorry, thought sorry, we were going to see What'd you say? No, I said Tillman. I thought you were going to say Tillman, but you said Castellanos. No, 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 no. Castell I really thought we were going to see it with Tati Castellanos. You know, and that would be the direct equivalent mm. of Julian Quinones, a guy who's dominating his league, a guy who's successful, a, a, a big name with all re due respect to Tillman, but mm -hmm. that's, that's not him right now. That was Tati Castellanos, and he represented Argentina at the youth levels. Like, that's the guy that I thought had mm. a chance to do this, and then he ends up in La Liga scoring four goals against Real Madrid. There we go. Maybe an uh, Argentina senior national team call-up uh, in his not-too-distant well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.